today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make one of my favorite instant pickles. It literally happens in seconds. It's for instant carrot pickles, also known as gajar kachar which is a very popular Gujarati pickle and the inspiration for this video comes from my favorite Purnima auntie who used to invite us over for parties and all sorts of stuff uh, growing up and Purnima auntie is Gujarati and I had these at her house for the first time absolutely fell in love and it's all that I could eat anytime I went over to her place so thank you so much for the inspiration I finally learned how to make them myself and I'm going to show you guys how to do it it's super easy so let's get started to get the pickle ready, I'm just gonna start by peeling my carrots. Then I'm just gonna top and tail the carrots and then I'm gonna cut them like this because I wanna make some matchsticks, some like thick matchsticks, just like that. And then do one of these numbers. And it doesn't really matter, I mean, you can do any sort of shape that you want. I just like this because they stay nice and ultra crunchy. And you just keep going for the rest. I love the flavor of green chilies in this pickle and all I do is I split them down the middle like this and that way you get the flavor of the chili without too much of the heat. So now it's time to season and this is a defining flavor of gajar kachar or this carrot pickle and it is crushed black mustard seed. And this is a really popular addition to this. As well, I'm gonna add a quarter of a teaspoon of asafoetida, which is also known as hing. We're gonna go in with half a teaspoon of my favorite beautiful bright turmeric. And then a little bit of salt, just like that. A little bit of sugar, which is very typical in Gujarati cuisine, and that's just gonna balance out all the flavors. I'm going in with the juice of a lemon, and that's where we're gonna get the acidity from. And a touch of chili powder, just a little bit, because the flavor of the chili powder is much different than the green chili. Okay, and then you just wanna get in there, really mix it up, and essentially, your pickle is done, it's done in an instant. That's why it's called an instant pickle. If you let this hang out for 15 minutes, it gets a little better. If you let it hang out for a day, it gets even better because the flavors have a chance to penetrate, but this is how quickly you can make pickles at home. And what you do at this point is you can just put it in a jar and store it in the fridge. I'm just gonna transfer this to a beautiful bowl so you can see that gorgeous orange color. Absolutely sensational, you guys. And you know what, I can't help it. I'm gonna have to go in for the taste, ready? This totally reminds me of my childhood. Whenever I used to go to Porty Monty's house or to her parties, she would always have this pickle, and because I am a fiend for things that are sour and spicy, I would devour them. These pickles are super crunchy. If you let them hang out for a little longer, like you can store them in the fridge in a glass jar, they'll last for up to two weeks, but you'll notice that they'll soften a little bit and they'll get a little crunchier in a different way, and then all those flavors will penetrate right into the middle of the carrot and it'll taste amazing. Thank you, Purnima Auntie, for the inspiration. I love these carrot pickles. If you like pickles as much as I do, please feel free to give this video a big ol' thumbs up. You know how that makes me feel. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Eat some pickles um, and subscribe. And if you have a recommendation for me, as always, please feel free to leave it down below. Until our next video, I am gonna continue eating pickles, you guys. All right, I'll see you later. Bye.